Her Majesty the Queen, who is 95 years old, is synonymous with the United Kingdom and is the first thing that comes to mind when you think of that island country. But death is inevitable. So what will happen when Queen Elizabeth II passes away? How would the world, and Britain in particular, be affected? Everything you need to know about what will transpire after her death is here. Number 30. There will be a flood of sorrow. It's possible that the often stoic British populace would express their grief in a way that rivals the intensity of their response to Princess Diana's passing in 1997. Since most people have never known a time when Queen Elizabeth wasn't the monarch, they are unable to comprehend what would happen if she passed away. Number 29. The London Bridge operation will come into effect. Death cannot be defeated, so as is customary in England, there are meticulous plans in place for Elizabeth's demise to ensure that everything is done with dignity, respect, and all the pomp and circumstance the Queen is due. The Guardian claims that this strategy is known as London Bridge. The Queen's private secretary, currently Edward Young, will call the Prime Minister, currently Theresa May, and announce that London Bridge is down, according to the Guardian's in-depth study. Then, the British Foreign Office will contact the 36 Commonwealth countries, or a group of independent former colonies where the Queen serves as a symbolic head of state, along with 15 other governments, to inform them of the situation. Number 28. People will learn in both contemporary and conventional ways. Everyone in the United Kingdom and the rest of the globe will learn once the truly important individuals have been informed. You'll likely remember where you were when you heard the news for the rest of your life. A news release will be sent out immediately to all media channels, according to The Guardian. According to custom, a footman dressed in mourning attire will place a black-edged notice on the gates of Buckingham Palace at the same time. Number 27. The media are putting together their plans. For famous people who are becoming older, the majority of major media outlets provide ready-to-publish obituaries and news articles. As gloomy as it may sound, it just makes sense to be ready. And it is especially crucial that the British press accurately report the Queen's passing. A BBC newscaster who wasn't given adequate notice of the Queen Mother's passing in 2002 received criticism for donning a macaroon tie rather than a black one. The deputy editor of The Guardian is said to have a list of prepared articles for the Queen's passing taped on his wall. News outlets have already lined up royal experts to appear live on television. Over the years, the royal family has received numerous honors. They will now be transformed into the wildly popular Funko Vinyl Figures. Number 26. Bells Will Ring The ceremonial customs that have made the British so admired will start in London. All flags will be flown at half-staff. Church bells will ring throughout the city. As with most sad occasions, Westminster Abbey's renowned tenor bell, which is rung in the event of royal deaths, will be audible. The Great Tom of St. Paul will also sound. It's likely that businesses, theaters, and certain sporting events will close or be postponed. As the country begins 10 days of grief before the funeral, people will start to assemble outside Buckingham Palace. Number 25. The Parliament Will Meet The government will also be involved because the Queen is the recognized head of state. Prince Charles will succeed her as King at the moment of her passing, but to guarantee a peaceful transition, all members of Parliament will assemble and take an oath of fealty to the new ruler. In 1952, this was carried out a few hours after the passing of Elizabeth's father, King George VI. Number 24. What happens if the Queen is not present in London? The Royal Air Force will dispatch a jet with a coffin and royal undertakers to fly the Queen back to the United Kingdom if she passes away while she is away, according to The Guardian. A car will transport her body to Buckingham Palace if she passes away in England but outside of London such as at her private estate, Sandringham House in Norfolk. There, she will be placed in the throne room and guarded by four grenadier guards, the ones who wear the big bearskin hats and red coats. Number 23. What if she is in Balmoral? The Queen's passing while at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, where she stays every summer and where Scottish traditions would be performed following her passing, would present the most challenging circumstance. She would be transported to Edinburgh's Holy Rood House, carried up the Royal Mile to St. Giles Cathedral for liturgy, 
and then boarded the royal train for London. It is likely that as the train passes, her subjects will be waiting alongside the route to throw flowers and show their respects. Number 22. Charles will become king. To firmly establish the position of the new monarch, several rites will be performed. There are really two things happening, one of his advisors told the Guardian. There is the demise of a sovereign, and then there is the making of a king. Charles is scheduled to make a speech on the evening of the queen's death to address the people. Charles will be crowned king the following day at 11 a.m., and he will take an oath known as the Accession Statement. The flag will be raised once more, a proclamation will be read throughout the city, trumpets will sound, and cannons will fire a royal salute. However, to give enough time for a period of sorrow and ceremony preparation, the coronation won't take place for several months. The palace has a strategy for what will happen precisely after their beloved monarch goes away. Number 21. Charles will choose his name. When they ascend to the throne in Britain, monarchs are free to choose their titles. King George VI, the father of Queen Elizabeth, was born Prince Albert and went by the name Bertie, but he decided to adopt the name King George in honor of his father, King George V. Given that her birth name is Elizabeth I, another of England's legendary monarchs, Elizabeth had a much easier decision to make. There have been rumors that Charles might select a different name because the first two King Charles were connected to the English Civil Wars, possibly George after his grandfather or Philip after his father. Charles is likely to remain King Charles III and retain his given name. Although there have been discussions regarding Charles' spouse's name as well, it is possible that she will be called Queen Camilla. Number 20. What will occur on the Queen's death day? A brief broadcast will be released from the palace if the Queen is likely to pass away due to illness or soon after. The palace made the following statement on the evening of her father King George V's passing. The King's life is progressing calmly towards its finish. In 1901, two days before Queen Victoria passed away, the organization disclosed, the Queen is suffering from great physical prostration, accompanied by symptoms which cause much anxiety. Number 19. How will the public find out that the Queen has passed away? The Press Association, a global news organization, and the rest of the world's media will be the first to receive an announcement. A footman dressed in mourning garb will, as is customary, leave Buckingham Palace and affix a black-edged notice on the gates. Additionally, a wartime alarm system known as RATS, or a radio alert broadcast system, will be triggered. When the news of the Queen's passing initially breaks on the major TV networks, all BBC Channel programming is suspended to present the BBC One feed of the event. The attire for newsreaders will be black suits and ties, which they will keep on hand at all times. Indeed, newsreaders on the BBC were observed wearing black when Prince Philip passed away. Number 18. What will take place on the day the Queen passes away? A brief broadcast will be released from the palace if the Queen is likely to pass away due to illness or soon after. When her father, King George V, passed away, the palace made the following announcement. The King's life is moving peacefully towards its close. Number 17. Who will contact the Prime Minister about the Queen's death? The person in charge of alerting the Prime Minister of the Queen's passing will reportedly be Sir Christopher Geit, the monarch's private secretary. Officials will be informed of her passing using the code word London Bridge, with employees reportedly saying London Bridge is down over secure lines. The code Hyde Park Corner was used to conceal the news of King George VI passing from switchboard workers. Number 16. How will the people learn that the Queen has passed away? The Press Association, a global news organization, and the rest of the world's media will be the first to receive an announcement. A footman dressed in mourning garb will, as is customary, leave Buckingham Palace and affix a black-edged notice on the gates. Additionally, a wartime alert system known as RATS, or a radio alert broadcast system, will be triggered. Additionally, pilots are required to make the news public throughout their flights, and no comedic TV shows will air until after her funeral. Number 15. What will occur in the hours following the Queen's passing? Although it may sound morbid, obituaries have been written for publication in news outlets around the world and will be released upon learning of Her Majesty's departure. In the UK, 
flags will be flown at half-mast, as they did when the Duke of Edinburgh passed away too, and it has been rumored for years that employees will be sent home early. Although this hasn't been verified, the public has been encouraged to work from home wherever possible during the past year, so it is assumed that a sizable section of the workforce is already doing so. A 12-day period of mourning will begin the day after the Queen's passing. The Queen's remains will be transported to Buckingham Palace during this time, and state funeral arrangements will be made. The Canterbury Archbishop will oversee the funeral services. For four days, Her Majesty's casket will lie in state in Westminster Hall. It is anticipated that after this time, her body will be eventually laid to rest in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. There are other graves for King George VI and the Queen Mother. Number 14. Will there be a state funeral for the Queen? It is conceivable that the Queen would have a state funeral given that societal segregation policies and lockdown limitations in the UK have been loosened and repealed respectively. The state funeral is expected to take place at Westminster Abbey in London and involve a procession through Windsor and London as well as a worldwide moment of silence at noon. According to Political EU, there would also be a CT committal service in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle and the Queen will be buried in the castle's King George VI Memorial Chapel. Number 13. What will happen to the economy after the Queen's death? The Queen's funeral and Charles's coronation will become national holidays. On the day of the funeral, the London Stock Exchange will close. It's unknown what will happen to the British economy following her death. That said, Business Insider reports that the national holidays will result in an estimated economic hit to the gross domestic product of 1.2 billion to 6 billion. Number 12. What happens to the royal line of succession? When the queen dies and Prince Charles becomes king, the royal line of succession will change. Prince Charles's firstborn son, Prince William, will become the heir apparent and first in line to inherit the throne upon his father's death or in the unlikely event of his abdication. Prince William's three children and his wife Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, Prince George, Prince Charlotte, and Prince Louis will all move up a position to second, third, and fourth in line for the throne respectively. All others in the line of succession will also move up a spot. Number 11. Will the Queen lie in state? Yes, in the throne room at Buckingham Palace, at first and later in Westminster Hall. Her coffin will be piled with the glittering crown jewels. On the day of her funeral, ten pallbearers will be entrusted with the immense weight of the Queen's coffin, lead-lined in the royal tradition. Princess Diana's coffin weighed half a ton for her funeral service in Westminster Abbey. While she lies in state, it's expected that more than a million people will line up to pass her coffin and pay their respects. Number 10. Will the Queen's funeral be televised? Yes, but it is forbidden to film royal family members during the service. On the 10th day of the mourning period, a state funeral for the Queen will take place at Westminster Abbey. At noon, there will be a two-minute moment of silence throughout the UK. There will be a procession both in Windsor and London. A funeral ceremony will be held at Windsor Castle's St. George's Chapel, and this is probably going to serve as the public memorial that is broadcast on television across the country. Number 9. Will Prince William become the Prince of Wales? Prince William will take on his father's former title following a ceremony called the Investiture of the Prince of Wales. Meanwhile, the line of succession will change. William's son, Prince George, will become second in line to the throne, followed by Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. Prince Harry will be fifth in line to the throne, and his son Archie and daughter Lily will be sixth and seventh respectively. Number 8. A Brief Resurrection of the British Empire a former ambassador said that what will happen overseas depends on the manner of the Queen's passing. If it has been long expected, there will be detailed plans and procedures in place. If it's sudden, overseas posts will look to the Foreign Office for urgent guidance. Social functions will be cancelled. The Union Jack flag will be flown at half-mast until after the funeral. This will also happen at home in the UK. Officials will enter a period of mourning and dress appropriately. Condolence books will be prepared for visitors to leave messages in. Number 7. The Little Things There will be hundreds of changes taking place up and down the country in the weeks and months ahead. 
First off, the new currency will begin to be printed and minted immediately. The portraits of Charles will already have been made in preparation. They won't seek to replace the entire stock of currency overnight, however. It will take several years to do so, much like how older notes and coins are gradually removed from circulation today. Of course, the national anthem, God Save the Queen, would change too. Here's Dame Julie Andrews singing God Save the King for King George VI in 1948. Number 6. Even Trafalgar Square will change. The police will need new insignia on their helmets. They currently display the Queen's initials and regnal number. Likewise, a great deal of military insignia will require updating. Passports too will need a refresh. A British passport currently requests and requires in the name of Her Majesty all those whom it may concern to allow the bearer to pass freely without let or hindrance. Stamps will also need updating so that they show the new king's head rather than the queen's. As signs of the queen's reign are slowly erased, she will also be memorialized. The fourth plinth in Trafalgar Square is currently dedicated to temporary statues and works of art, but former London Mayor Ken Livingstone says his understanding is that the fourth plinth is being reserved for Queen Elizabeth II. Number 5. It may end the Commonwealth. With Queen Elizabeth II no more, some countries may choose to end this union with Britain once and for all. Australia, for example, has already held a referendum on becoming a republic once before, in 1999. It was a relatively close run thing, with the Republicans ultimately losing 45 to 55 percent. But much of the support for the monarchy arguably derives from personal affection for the Queen herself. With her gone, many Commonwealth nations may decide the time has come to separate. This also depends on the time of the Queen's death. Number 4. The Press Has Its Plans in Place Most major outlets, including the British tabloids, have obituaries and news stories ready to go for public figures who are getting up there in age. As morbid as it sounds, it makes sense to be prepared for what happens when the Queen dies, and coverage of Queen Elizabeth's death is even more important for the British press to get right. One BBC newscaster who wasn't properly dressed at the time of the Queen Mother's death in 2002 was reportedly criticized for wearing a maroon tie instead of black. Now they keep black ties and suits on hand. Number 3. What will the funeral be like? The funeral of all senior members of the royal family, the Queen, Prince Charles, or anyone else in the line of succession are planned years in advance. As the reigning monarch, Her Majesty will be given a state funeral, not a public one. Prince Philip had a ceremonial funeral. State funerals are reserved for monarchs. According to The Economist, the only visual difference between the two types of funerals is that the gun carriage used in the military procession preceding a state funeral is pulled by Royal Navy sailors. On this day, banks and the London Stock Exchange will be closed. Number 2. London could get crowded According to documents obtained by Politico, there is a concern that the number of people who will come to London to mourn Queen Elizabeth, which could number in the hundreds of thousands, could present a logistical nightmare for the city. The mourners may overwhelm the transportation systems, the hospitality industry, basic services, and even police and crowd control. Number 1. A Republican Britain Depending on Charles's reign, Republicanism may grow in prominence in Britain too, but there's no chance of Britain becoming a republic anytime soon. Support for the monarch is deeply entrenched in the nation's psyche, with 66% of respondents in one survey saying Britain is better off as a monarchy, and with just 17% opting for a republic. But right now, this is all theoretical, and hopefully a long way off yet. May the Queen be in the best of health, and may God save the Queen indeed for the longest period possible. What are your views on the video? Also, are you an admirer of Queen Elizabeth? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and share the video with your friends and family. We keep coming up with such informative and interesting videos over and over again, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon below. That way you'll never miss anything new on the channel.